Welcome back to another King of the Hill reaction. We're on season one, episode 11, King of the Ant Hill. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I have absolutely no idea what to even predict for this quiz. It's obviously got something to do with ants. I don't know, maybe Hank's trying to get rid of ants and they don't go away and he goes like absolutely insane about it or something along those lines but i don't know to be honest that might not even be the case maybe it's like bobby i don't like the title and think it's funny because of how similar it is to the title of the actual show i don't know maybe they're overrun by ants or something but since i've got nothing to predict let's just get into it oh hell yes honestly i would love to have one of those lawnmowers like that they look fun hmm two and an eight and is he measuring it does it really matter that much? I don't think that many people are gonna fucking notice. On ready for Cinco de Mayo, Hank. Bill for what? Lawn is in a constant state of readiness. Okay. The party is just an opportunity to trot her out and show what she can do. Hey Hank, can't you let your lawn go to hell? <laughs> okay, if doggy make on it. Hey, oh if God. You got something to say? Say it. It's not my place to point out low density. Also, what the hell? Why is there two patches that look gross? I was like, the dog shits on it. He's got the best lawn in Ireland. Oh, best okay. lawn. After mine. Ah. Ah. I mean, to be honest, those, both of those lords look Hank, like nearly the exact be same. Tell Con's lawn is better than yours, but with all those people at the block party, they won't. They'll be drunk. Ah. Uh, should you be Damn, ripping up people's grass? My whole life into this I mean, to be fair, though, it, it is a nicer looking color. Bethany, it does not matter if your avocados are hard. Life is hard. Okay. You cannot make authentic guacamole out of lima beans and Ritz crackers. All these people. Gringos. I'm just glad you're in charge of the block party this year, Aunt Peggy. What the fuck even is a block party? Is it just like a party that everyone in the street, like, contributes to out of something? I think I have heard of it in the other shows, but I can't remember. I'm the block captain. I okay. Have the best lawn for Cinco oh my god, does it really the matter that much? It's wrong. a fucking lawn. Like a At the end of the day, it's just grass. Hair. What the hell? What is hey, he doing? Hank, what do you say to another lawn spraying from your favorite exterminator? Okay well, then. Uh, I don't oh, know. Is he, I, I just realized it's the exterminator. Sprayings have been doing the job, Dale. I lost another client. Oh. Thinks well, I used too that's depressing. Chemicals. <laughs> I say so. that, but honestly, that might actually be the case. Why Hank's grass looks a bit, you know, shit compared to the the neighbors. I forgot the guy's name. You know, maybe that's what's wrong with your lawn. Dale's spraying too much. Yes. On it. Okay. So. No, he's always sprayed my lawn, and if I can give some. And again, that might be why it's a little bit shit in comparison. Uh, you know what, Dale? I thought it over, and I think I'll take a rain check. Oh. Okay. But I was okay. going to spray for fire ants today. Oh my god, is, it, is he not going to spray and oh, then they I actually have fucking that. ants and, and, even, and it Look fucks up the lawn? She can lay a mill or they, actually, Ed, no, I was going to say, would ants help, but it probably won't. Now, who do you believe, me or Hank? I know Hank, Hank more believable. <laughs> Fine, side with him. Okay. Just to show you what a big man I am, I'll still spray your lawn. <sighs> Dale, I don't want you to spray my lawn anymore. Not now. Not ever. Uh, this is why he's been losing so many fucking clients. Here. Because he keeps killing here. everyone's grass with how fucking much chemicals and shit he's using. Is that it? Did you want someone who's licensed and bonded? Wait, he's not licensed? Let's not make this any harder. Okay, no wonder you're losing clients and if you're not fucking licensed for the I did what had to be done. I got rid of an anti What the fuck is Bobby in the back of sure he's a friend, the fucking truck? Surely that's dangerous. Friends. I only have the one lawn. Is that even legal? Like even for back, like even from 20 years ago. Oh, Peggy, Peggy, look, it's Raleigh Saint. Oh shit! Hell with fertilizer and seed. I want this. I feel like buying entirely new grass for your for your lawn would be expensive as shit. It's worth it. Look, it's just... some people hoist a flag to show they love our country. Well, my lawn is my flag. Okay. It tells the world. Here lives a competent, trustworthy salesman of propane and propane. <laughs> I don't know why when he says that it makes me laugh, but it does. You're stupid. Without my lawn, I am Bill. Do you want to be married to Bill? <laughs> okay, well, I guess he did buy the grass. Jesus Christ. I mean, even, even if it does look nice, again, that's fucking expensive as shit. Hey, Hank. Congrats on the lawn, friend. Well, I'm glad you came. May I? 
Just a little. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Feels like a shag carpet with dirt. Feels like home. Hey! Get off my papa teeth! <laughs> yeah, she's aiming on the she's aiming in the right fucking lawn. Oh man, is he putting fire in again? That's insane. What the fuck is Don't wanna get a hose imprint. Ow! What the <gasps> a fire ant? Holy oh, shit, there's so oh many God, of them now. No, an hill on my new lawn. Oh, so that's what that is. <laughs> how did I get fire ants? Because of him. I'm a professional exterminator. I don't know how you get them. I only know how you get rid of them. <laughs> well, gotta go. Yeah, you got them because you fucking planted it's them there. Echo kill, Hank. The government would not let them use the word echo unless it was ecologically sighted. Okay. I don't know, Peggy. It seems to me it's going to take more than a bag of flies to scare off these red devil... I mean, it could work, considering assuming the flies eat the fucking, you know, the ants. Bird fly injects its egg into the oh. fire ant's head. Ew. The egg hatches into a maggot, which eats away at the ant's brain until the head falls off. Oh, okay, okay. Necessary. I like it. This is exactly what those I mean, that is actually kind of a cool and interesting way to get rid of ants, though, to be honest. Ways to use nature against other forms of nature. Wait, can those ants... I mean, flies things even breathe in that? Is he gonna fucking remove... Okay. He's kind of insane and fucking weird. Um, okay, yeah, that's probably not a good thing to spray hey, in your fucking head. He reminds me of me. Before my growth spurt. The queen, okay. Stupid. Wait, what it, it is? Just like the one of my dad's truck. Oh, you okay. Mel Gribble's truck. Yeah, yeah my dad. <laughs> oh my god. The queen is cool. I forgot about the whole thing about him Tet probably not beating that guy's actual kid. Wow. Hmm. Well, well, well. Looks like those fire ants played you like a damn fiddle. Yeah, well, the opera ain't over yet. Okay, ants. Put your heads between your six legs. He's just gonna run over the end dance hill, which I mean, honestly, fair enough for that, I guess. Uh, oh my god, what uh, the fuck? Uh, that is so hey, many. Jesus you Christ. Brother construction? You've got ants. Yes, indeed. What the fuck? <laughs> that kid is so strange. That he. Considering he always points out the fucking obvious. What are you doing? Is he just gonna, like, basically ant heal or ant nest or whatever in his bedroom? Yes, queen. What the fuck? There's no way that is working. Hey, guys, I kind of got to talk to Dale alone. Is he gonna find out that fucking Dale is basically Thank the cause of all this? Because if so, like, I hope so, because it seems the druid like, just, it's insane that the fact that this guy is just petty. Up. Dale, I didn't come here to... Oh, no. For once, you will hear me out. Calendar. Okay. Now, what can I do for you? <laughs> you can save my lawn. Those fire ants are out of control. I mean... Dale, you're the only one who can help me. That's right. I am. Okay. The question is, why should I? Well, I'll... Oh, because you're the one that fucking calls it. Hey, what's that? What are you spraying? There won't be bleaching, will there? Hell no. Uh... I'd put that mask back on if I were you. I mean, yeah, considering you how fucking toxic to me, that shit I looks. Pull out the big gun. Oh my god, there's so many fucking ants, though. Like, how the hell, why does he keep the ants after? Or oh, why does he, I mean, why does he have them in the truck or whatever that he's able to plant them in someone's yard? What? Oh my fucking god, okay. I would be so pissed. <laughs> Especially after the amount of pun money that fucking lawn would have cost. It's not fair. She was so young and green. I never even got a chance to mow her. Oh, it'll be okay, Hank. You will grow a new lawn by next year's Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Uh, Still fucking long way again. away. From now on, wood chips and gravel. Yeah, okay. I mean, it can look nice in some situations. In some with some houses. I just hope Hank doesn't blame Dale for what happened. Oh no, Nancy. He knows Dale was only doing his job. That's it. He gave him a fifty cent raise. Oh, sugar. We're out of sugar, Shug. You know, I think there's some more in the basement. Oh okay. no, I'll go get it. I'll get it. Oh my god, she gotta go down there and see the fucking ants down there. 
and realize that yes, it was in fact Dale's fault. This is kind of fucking ominous, to be honest. What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, okay, he straight up just has hundreds of fucking ants. Oh my goodness. Hey, Peggy. How could you do it? Yeah, what the fuck? How could you plant fire ants on our lawn? Uh, I'm denying that. That's <laughs> my position. Sure. Well, you wrote it on this map. <laughs> yes. Planted ants. If all you're going on is my confession, forget it. I'm simply not credible. Okay, then. What? On God's green earth, are you doing with all these fire ants? Yeah. Uh, they're silkworms. <laughs> yes, they're very fucking small looking silkworms. In a suit. No, I cannot allow you to leave the safety of the bowl. It is too dangerous out there. Forgive me, my queen. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the strangest fucking side plot of the show. Dale! Dale! <laughs> Oh man. Oh my god, okay, come Dale, you went too far this time. Yeah, like he was actually fucking insane with this. This whole fucking like plot and idea. It's, it's so petty. This really can't wait. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, Bobby, what are you doing? What the fuck? Okay, that's insane. Listen to him, Bobby. If you move, they're all gonna sting at once. Take my hand, Bobby. Okay. The ants will swarm on me. Oh. What if they don't. Oh. They will. Okay. They've been waiting to get a piece of me for 15 <laughs> years. Oh my god, okay. Well, okay, surely that's f fucking going to at least, you know, severely injure you. Getting bitten by fucking hundreds of ants. While I was blacked out, was anything inserted into me? <laughs> what? You're alive? I mean, obviously it's ants, unless he's allergic. Oh, so, okay, this is straight up, like, just party on the street. Oh, Hank. Hank, come quick. Well, I'll be. Oh. Here, Hank. Okay. I've been saving this for someone special. I mean, at least the neighbors are nice. But I guess she's never coming back. It's, were they? Try I mean. Lawn nice, neighbor. Organically grown. No chemicals. Okay. I killed all the bugs with my fingers. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that taken the how fucking 20 years you'd think i especially want to thank dale gribble without his paranoid and well hateful nature i yeah. never would have learned what kind of beating a friendship can survive yeah i mean i guess so but still like his plan was so fucking petty just because he didn't want to be have like have dale been his exterminator Okay, fuck me. What's his name? Dale. He's in. That's that was the most insane fucking plot I've ever seen to get revenge on someone. Like it was so petty, just because Hank didn't want to have Dale be like the exterminator because it was probably killing the Lord. So he goes with the ex fucking pain of putting ants in his front yard on his like front lawn, and then like you know having them fucking build nests everywhere. Which how how sentient or like aware were these ants that they were able to somehow hypnotize Bobby and then just. Attack Dale, which that was the strangest side plot I've ever seen in the show. Like that whole thing with Bobby, it was so weird. But I mean, it was kind of funny though, to be honest. But f uh, there's so many different types of ants, especially like that. I can't even remember what ant is like what because fire ants are they the real big ones? I can't remember. I've, I don't know like if they're called something else in different countries, but in Australia, there's these ants, and I think they're called like bulldog ants. Something along those lines. And they're fucking massive. And when they bite you, it hurts like hell. Again, I, I can't remember the different types of ants. <laughs> but, like, again, the fact that he... Why does he have those ants in the, his basement? Like, that was creepy and fucking ominous enough. When Peggy was down there and sees, like, the map of Hank's, like, front yard and that. It, like, it, that's some weird stalkery serial killer shit. I, I would, that's the type of shit you would see in, like, a, ser like, a horror movie or something. I mean, obviously not about ants, but, like... Something along those lines, just having a map of someone's house and all this weird shit in the basement. I oh, know, overall, that was a pretty decent episode. Probably not my overall, like, f not my favourite or anything, but it wasn't terrible. It was still enjoyable. The only criticism I have, I feel like Hank forgave Dale a little bit too quickly and easily because, like, I feel like getting the ants off Bobby did really 
change anything. Like, he still fucking put them there. But oh well. I mean, I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>